I'm just so glad we're finally getting some attention on Phil Bladder because I've had this creeping suspicion on him for about six months now. When I first found out he was a lead director, some shadow figure calling shots I had no idea about in a company I've been invested in over a year, it was a, uh, it put a red flag in my mind. Finding out he was a senior advisor to Morgan Stanley and a, and a former UK ambassador were just interesting facts to me until we started getting Twitter and Reddit leaked document drops on UK based shell companies owned by Citadel and loans being cashed out to them by Morgan Stanley. Then those two facts that I formerly found interesting became suspect as fuck instantaneously. After deeper digs, I find out his daughter, Mary Ladder, was a, form a former managing director at BlackRock and left. This all led me into making this channel talk about it since no one was. And I uploaded this horseshit video three months ago calling him out for being suspect because he is. It's straight out of the Wall Street handbook of corruption to infiltrate, dissolve, consolidate. And that's exactly what was going on. And I even mentioned Phil Bladder's daughter in this video being a, holding a former management position in BlackRock but leaving to become a co-founder of Uniswap was crazy. And this was all just before the FTX fiasco, which directly links Philip Ladder's daughter because Uniswap was implicated in creating the wrapped tokenized securities on FTX. Swapping around from Solana to ERC20 Ethereum smart contracts, just like a hot potato. Alleviating locate requirements for this fucking Ponzi naked short scheme that's going on. It's clear as day to me. This has been an elephant in the room, and it's finally the cat that is out the bag, and we need to apply pressure. Everyone who's saying this is FUD and the timing and this and that, you're a fucking retard. We're all, we all entered this rabbit hole in the, in the realms of conspiracy. Open up your mind. Asking the right questions is what got us all here in the first place, so I don't see the problem with being suspicious of this guy. I understand the hyper paranoia in the community with Matt Kors and Charles Gasparino and two years of mental and financial abuse. I get it. But this is not FUD. What's wrong with asking questions? He's never mentioned in the Q&As. No one knows what his accomplishments, qualifications are, what his true intentions are. All in coalescence to these nefarious coincidences that are stacking up in such an improbable way. You gotta be fucking either suffering from cognitive dissonance or just truly be a retard to not see this as being a red flag.